it's me, Life Simmer, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions Part 21. So before we jump into this, I really quickly want to clarify, at the end of this video, I have like a new little part of my outro, and it looks like I'm naked. Uh, I'm not. I'm wearing a tube top. I'm wearing it right now. So I really should have thought that one through. I look nude, but I'm not. I put a little disclaimer, but just in case you missed it, I'm I'm wearing clothes, <laughs> not my birthday suit, I promise. There's so much to go over in this part. Well, the first thing is yes, we got some new house. And I told you guys in the last part that if you wanted to see me decorate it, you actually can watch it on my, um, on my Twitch TV, it's in the archives. You can watch it, it took us forever. And I use the inheritance. I got it from Isabella's lifetime reward points. So she's completely drained. Well, she has 8,000, almost 8,000. That's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I drained her out pretty much. Sorry, Isabella, which is ironic. You guys will see in one second why it's ironic. She used her lifetime reward points. We'll wait till you see her room. So <laughs> here's the house. It's made by my friend Cassandra, who I absolutely adore. She's so sweet and so cute and sassy at the same time. But uh, the house is so adorable. I put like mint green touches in it. So when we head inside, um, we don't have much. <laughs> we really did not have much. I'll show you what we do have though. Over here, we have a cheap <laughs> laundry and washing machine, laundry and washing machine, a cheap dryer and washer and a toilet. Just a random toilet in there just to have an extra one. <laughs> And then um, over here, we have my really cheap uh, dining room set that I just threw together right now. And then here is my kitchen, which I know it's it's not even all that fabulous. And that is my favorite part of a freaking house is the kitchen. Always has been, always will be. I am a foodie. I love food. The kitchen is mi casa, mi baby, mi familia. I am so sorry. I, I am Spanish for those who are wondering. And... It just doesn't come out of my mouth. It doesn't. I do know how to say Cayata la boca, puta. <laughs> uh, but um, anyways, right here we have a beautiful room with no wallpaper and a bush inside of the wall. Wow, that takes skill. Then if we head downstairs, I have like this little empty room. I didn't put anything in it yet uh, except a bookshelf, which actually is Alexander's amazing room. I love his room so, so much. I definitely put way too much money into his room. Um, I spent a lot, but I'm really, really happy with it so far. And I find it so creepy and fun. So if we head in here, he has like creepy bookshelves. And um, this is Cornelia. We're saying this is Cornelia. Is this a man? On the stream, we were saying this is Cornelia Goth, which is like his grandmother, I believe. So um, I don't even know if this is... A female we're gonna pretend um then we have some creepy kid pictures above his bed which you know i guess if that's what he's into those are in there and then we have these beautiful beautiful plants i don't know what they are but i really really like them of course creepy creepy bed which is also madly gorgeous because and some nice floral bed tables nice one alexander a laundry basket Oh my gosh, is he gonna be neat? Hopefully. And then in the corner, I have a tea set because it is so cute. And I had to, like Alexander can invite people down to his room like, hey, you wanna have a cup of tea? Sure, they head to the kitchen. Oh no, no, no. It's down in the basement. It's down in the basement. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to give him more of a goth theme instead of the sci-fi sort of theme I was going for. I'm like, hold up, hold up. He is Alexander Goth. And then if we head up a floor, this is where it gets a little funky. I spent way too much money on Portia's room. As you guys can see, I am so obsessed with it though. It is my dream room, spot on. Um, oh, I did give her her private investigator door because she exclaimed she had to have it or else she wasn't moving in. So I put it in. <laughs> so if we head in here. It is so gorgeous. Oh, it makes my heart break. Virtual goals. But uh, she has like a light baby blue and light baby pink sort of theme in here. Uh, we just kind of got carried away in here. I, I really like it though. She even has like these adorable little sushi pillows, which I am so obsessed with. If somebody knows where I can get cute little sushi pillows like this, let me know. Because I love sushi. 
And I love pillows like that. Okay, plush pillows. I am so down for those. Obsessed. Um, a chair, a nice little TV. I wasn't going to give her this, but it just looked so cute in the corner. So I did. A uh, computer for her work. Some pearls, I guess. Some nice potted plants. And of course, a beautiful, beautiful bed. I love her room <laughs> so much. And then right here is, and then right here is obviously the best bathroom ever. People could actually look in. <laughs> uh, yeah, moving on. Okay, this room is a little different. Okay, we kind of gave up on this room. This is Isabella's room. There's so much work that has to be done to her room. I know you're looking at it right now like, what even is that? I don't know. I don't know. We are going to do a Dalmatian firehouse sort of theme to her room. And this is what we got. A lot needs to be done to her room. However, I am going to treat her with a little gift since I could not fulfill her dreams and give her the firefighter Dalmatian themed room. We're going to do something a little bit different for her. So literally all there is in her room is this lamp she probably stole from work. Um, her jacket, uh, her sculpting skill thingy right there, and a Dolphation, Dolphation, a Dolphation slash fire woman sort of bed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then over here is Ben Koto's room, which is so cute. It is so simplistic. I found this adorable wallpaper that I've like never seen before in the game. And he used that on the walls, and I did put his time machine in there so he can just jump in. Guys, I'm going to bed. JK, I'm going to the future. Psych. Joke's on you. Yeah, that's what he's going to be doing. <laughs> and then I also put his sculpting table up here so he doesn't have to be around everybody. He can actually use his bedroom for all of his bedroom stuff. I don't know. And a bed. And a bedside table. Some curtains and stuff always nice once again we have another five out of five star bathroom and then i i don't know what i'm gonna make this yet a lot of people were saying oh make it in a nursery but i'm like we don't have any kids yet so i'm making it like a craft room so far and then all i have is as well as crafting sculpting station so that's all I have right now. I do need to put some wallpaper down there. I totally forgot. Oh, and then over here is Isabella's gifts room. It is going to be a Dalmatian dog, and her name is going to be Dogatella. We voted this on my stream. So when I stream anything related with my LPs, you know, we decide on a lot of things. They really helped me out with this. So thank you guys who were there. It was a lot of fun. Hashtag burnt carrots. Hashtag Dogatella. You know. You know, if you was there, but, um, her room's so much nicer <laughs> than, um, this room in here is so much nicer than Isabella's room that it's actually quite sad, but there's so much in the house that has to be done. So I don't want you guys to be like, this house is mother effing fugly. It's not done. Obviously, it's nowhere near done. You guys know how I like to decorate my houses. So this is just kind of a tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that we have to do. But yeah, Dogatella's room. It's gonna be fierce. It's gonna be crazy. And we have some toys, and then we have a little Chippy in there, which we need to stock Chippy in there. She better not have lost Chippy. <gasps> oh my gosh. In the arms of an angel mood lamp in there came with supernatural i don't know i never used it so i can just place it in there but uh, yeah that is the house uh we had to get rid of the beast it disappeared on me i don't even know i don't know it disappeared so there's that um but okay i also did a lot of things to the town we're actually is she on call right now oh it's sunday but i am going to have isabella head into work really quickly to kind of just um work on some of the fire bells and stuff and what else does she need for work she need um talk to her co-workers improve her athletic and handiness skill and of course respond to emergencies but what we're going to do is we're going to head to to the fire station we're so close to a level 10 in the firefighter career which is kind of scary we're like 
literally blowing through it. But yeah, we're going to head there really quickly. This part's honestly just going to be like a really big tour of the town. I apologize for that. In the next part, there will be more gameplay. But uh, I did do the firehouse all over because I was just like, it was so gloomy. I didn't understand it. Like when I was redecorating it, it was honestly kind of sad. <laughs> so I just kind of changed everything up. A uh, new kitchen which is so nice like you i put vending machines in there you can slam it if you want to even though they're probably getting paid pretty well we have like a new office which just looks so much better i don't know it just looks brighter and brighter to me is much better much better i went up here i redid this i even put like a really cool entertainment center that is humongously awesome and then upstairs okay the bedrooms i didn't really do too much to I'm a B100. I kind of just whipped through this really quick. How However, I live? did put these super sleepers up here. So you can use that premium content item. Haha. -ha. And up here I did nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I just decided to revamp it a little bit. Because it was seriously sad. So I'm very happy about the revamping. But while we're here, I'm going to check the bells. Oh, what about the... 97% okay that's actually really good 97% what's up with that why is everything so good it's like I want it to be bad or something <laughs> makes no sense um let's actually head over to Ben Koto who <gasps> well hey girl hey oh my gosh who would I guess what's up Liz how is you I hope you was doing good ah uh, actually I'm gonna have um and lastly, I updated my interior. I believe this is all I did. I might, I believe this and the beach is what I'm going to show you guys. Then probably going to end this part. I know you guys are probably, there was like no gameplay. I apologize for that. This is probably just going to be called, um, let me think of a witty name. Hold on. This part's going to be called... MTV Cribs. Okay, that's what this part's gonna be called. MTV Cribs. Even though our house is complete trash right now and I'm not even done decorating, I just wanna show you guys some of the things I did, I guess. Uh, so I redid the beauty salon as well. It was so needed. So needed. Like, it looks so cute in my opinion. I put the gumball machine in here so you can get a gumball. And I don't know. I just think it looks like somewhere I would wanna go and get my stuff done at, whatever my stuff is. What, my hair brushed? Yeah, it's needed. But then if we go upstairs, um, I did some massage tables, which I love. It's like you can come here and get a couple's massage. And we also have some tanning rooms so your sims can get tan all year long. Alexander is here getting a foot massage and reading a book. What a G. Ooh, I need to put wallpaper on there too. Why do I always forget that? I don't know. And some personal massage rooms as well. Then if we head up a story, there's absolutely nothing. And I also did do the tattoo area a little bit differently, which I may need to fix that actually. And then lastly, I did the beach over just a little tiny bit. I know it looks a little weird with all the different colored sand, but we'll just say they imported some Isla Paradiso sand and they, they live in it up in this town, okay? So I just kind of, you know, plopped, plopped down some things that really look weird on this beach, but I just, I needed some change. And then over here is the messiest beach area ever, but it looks like so much fun because I added in like a bunch of fun things to do. Uh, like I have a little kid play area. I have a yearly hot dog eating contest. So if you ever in the mood for it, you just come down to the beach. Swings, face painting. And then if we head inside, I have... A werewolf serving ice cream. Oh, that's not that's not terrifying. Nope, nope, not at all. That's great. <laughs> yeah, he's in there serving ice cream. And I also have like the little baby area over there, the toddler thing that you can just throw your kids in there and go get a nice tan. So yeah, that's what I've done to my town so far. And you guys saw Mima's in the park and everything in the previous parts. I really, really like what I did with the town. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what I should add in, definitely let me know. I actually have a list right here of some stuff I'll be adding in. I'll read it to you guys since I'm going to do it in the next part, um, which I'm going to try to get up tomorrow since this part really isn't anything too crazy. I'll read you guys my list. Uh, coffee shop. 
ice cream parlor, nightclubs, nicer beach, bowling alley, new parks, new festival, which I did, new wedding lot, uh, a party lot, a nicer gym, and to redo the firehouse. So I already got some of it done and a lot more to do. So yes. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next part, which I promise you, I promise you I'm going to get up tomorrow. I'm trying to get my uploads back on schedule, and I feel really motivated, and I'm ready. So, yeah. Anyways, you guys are about to see the awkward outro that I was talking about. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Bye. So, so very much for watching this video to subscribe you can go ahead and hit that button down there and don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up because that's always nice and if you would like to watch more of my videos you can go ahead and click on my face once again thank you so much and yeah <laughs>